Hey there, family, and happy Sunday. Welcome to the Church of God Inner Man Gospel Incorporated. On behalf of our pastors, Pastor David L. Pearsall Sr. and Pastor Charlene K. Pearsall, we're so glad you decided to worship with us. If this is your first time joining us, let us know down in the comments so that our family can love up on you. Feel free to engage, like, or comment, and your comment just might appear on the screen. And be sure to share this message with your family and friends. You have three ways to join us live, Facebook, YouTube, and on our website. Now stay tuned for Praise and Worship.
dreaming of every birth for an answer. Jesus gave the key. He said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. So lift him up, lift him up. Let our King be lifted up. He'll do it. Let our King be lifted up. Let our King be lifted up. Oh, save us. We pray that something is said through the Word of God today that will transform your life forever. Stay tuned after this message. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This Sunday morning, this Resurrection Amen. Sunday morning. Amen. Happy Resurrection yes. Day, everyone. Amen. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad to be in the land of the living? Amen. I know we are. We are so happy to be in the land of the living. Amen. We are happy that God woke us up this morning. Yes. We are clothed in our yes. right minds, having the activity of our limbs. God is so, so Amen. good to us. Amen. And again, we just want to say happy Resurrection, Resurrection Sunday. Y'all, let me tell y'all, God got up. Amen. 
he got up on that third day with all power. Jesus did yeah. with all power in his hand. Yeah. And because Jesus got up, we yeah. too Amen. have been able to get up in that yeah. same power. Yeah. That same dudamus power Amen. is working on the inside of us. If you're happy to have the Holy Ghost on the inside of you, give us some hearts. Interact with us this That's morning. Right. I'm telling you, saints of God, this is something to be uh, happy That's and right. to celebrate. Resurrection Day. Amen. Resurrection Sunday. I'm telling you, saints of God, if it had not been, first of all, for God yeah. who had a plan to redeem mankind back to yeah. himself, and if it had not been for Jesus yes. submitting to the will of his Father, you and I, we would not have a right to the tree of life. But because of the plan yes, the of God, God and the obedience of Jesus, yes. we have a right to the tree of life. Yes. I don't know about you, but I am excited that the spirit of the living God lives on the inside yes. of me. So he glad. lives on the inside of me. And I'm telling you, saints of God, that is something to celebrate. Yes. And so we don't have no need to hold our heads down. That's right. We don't have no need to be sad. Amen. That's right. Disappointed. That's right. Why would you be disappointed? Amen. No, no, no. We don't have no need to be disappointed. No, no, no. We have all power. Yes. We God, he, you know what, Pastor David? Because we accept Jesus into our heart. That's right. Don't you know that we have access? That's right. To the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So why would we be sad? Amen. Why would we be, we be walking around with our heads hung down, our countenances low? No, we are joint heirs. That's right. To all that God has promised us That's right. through Amen. his son Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. And because of it, I'm telling you, saints, we are more, more. the word of God says. Yes. We are more than conquerors That's right. through him who loved us. Aren't you glad that God loved us so Amen. much that he gave us his best gift yes. in the person of his son, Jesus? Yes. Amen. He did that because he loves us. Oh, yes. And so this is why we look at Resurrection Sunday as a celebratory day. Yes. This is why we celebrate Amen. because he has risen, risen with all power and authority in Amen. his hand. And so before we go further in the service, Amen. thank you, Sister Sharon, for that wonderful, wonderful uh, um, worship song on this morning. Uh, what was it? Because yes. of who you are. Yes. Amen. I will lift my hands and say, yes. Lord, I worship you yes. Amen. just for who you are. Amen. Not because of what you do for me. Right. Not because my name is written in the Lamb's book yes. of life, not because of the provision. Uh -huh. No, but just because of who you are. Amen. I give you glory. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. I'm telling you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that yes. song this morning. Pastor David is going to lead us into prayer and then we're going to go further into the service. Amen. Bow Amen. Your head, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you so thank much you, Lord. for waking us up on this resurrection Sunday. We thank you, Father, for your loving kindness. We thank you for your glorious power that shall be displayed and demonstrated in this day. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for all of all of the worshipers yes. that's gathered around the altar today to pay honor and respect to your day, the day that you risen for us to be resurrected in your power and in your authority. We thank you for life, most thank of you, all. Lord. We thank you for waking us up this thank morning. Thank you, Jesus. Closing our right mind with blood running warm in our veins. Hallelujah. And with the activity of our limbs. And we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to breathe and have the breath of life. And we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to move and live and have our being. Thank and you, Lord. We thank you for the word that shall go forth today. Thank you, To Jesus. represent you, Father, and to empower your people to every heart and every ear that's open and receiving your word today. 
We thank you for it. And in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen amen if you believe you receive yes. on this morning just go ahead and lift up your hands hallelujah. and begin to worship god you, hallelujah thank god you, is worthy of all the praise. praise he's worthy of all the glory he's I worthy of all, all the honor thank you lord thank you, you lord. thank you for your provision thank you lord thank you lord thank you for just who you are today in our lives we bless your name yes, we lord. bless you father Yes, Thank Father. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Name Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank hallelujah. You. We you. believe we receive, and Thank we you, hope Jesus. that you believe that you receive. Thank you, Don't Father. you know the word of God says that Thank all you, things Jesus. are possible yes. when we believe? Yes. So all it takes is a belief system. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whatever we believe yes. is possible to happen. Yes, Father. So even if our mindset is in a negative posture yes. and we believe those things that are negative, yes. don't you know that that also comes to life? Amen. Amen. So that's why we preach and teach on this platform yes. to make sure that our mind, our will, our emotions, yes. everything line up with the will of God because the word of God says, so be it done unto you. Amen. Whatever we believe, we receive yes amen faith and fear works the same way yes amen absolutely and so this is why we are are always admonishing the people of god to put god at at a test you know he even yes. said it in his word yes. see sometimes we think that's just for the offering yes when he said prove me that's right no 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 that's for any situation amen. he like prove me yes Prove me. In other words, he like challenge you. Yes, yes. See, won't I open up the window of heaven right. Amen. and pour you out a blessing that you don't even have room enough to receive. Amen. And so saints of God, I'm telling you, whatever we believe, it will be done for us yes. according to the word. Amen. And so that's why he said he wants us to believe yes. exceedingly, yes. abundantly, yes. above all that we can ask or think. Right. That we believe that our father because he loves us, he's able to perform Amen. what we have That's petitioned right. him to do. Amen. Right. Amen. Again, we thank you for joining us for Resurrection Sunday on today. We want you to please share this live broadcast with your family and friends. Let them know that they can watch us one of three ways. They can continue to watch us here live on Facebook, and we appreciate you subscribing to this Facebook page. We appreciate it because every time we come on live, you will get a notification that yeah. we're on live and you can be a part of what we're doing and serving on this platform. Amen. They can also watch us on our website at coggimg.org. You know, you can watch us there slash live. You can watch us there on our uh, on our uh, Facebook. I'm sorry, on our um uh, website yeah. and uh miracle does a awesome and a phenomenal right. job with our website we want you to please visit our website and also share it with yeah. your family and friends so that they too can be a part of what we are experiencing on these platforms that church of god yeah. Man gospel present we can all uh, and we thank you so very much for you know just liking out amen our page as well on yeah. our uh what is it? Our website. Yes, <laughs> we thank you for, yes. you know, subscribing to our website and liking it and yes. sharing it with your family and friends. And last but not least, you can also watch us on YouTube. Oh, yes. And we appreciate you again subscribing Amen. to our YouTube channel so that you will be made aware as to every time that we come on live. And so we're going to get Amen. right on into our message this yes. morning. We're excited. Yes. You know, if you were expecting a a resurrection sunday message it is it amen. still is this is that's the resurrection right. sunday right. message <laughs> amen amen every amen sunday. Every, every sunday day. is a resurrection sunday yes. message right into the word of god on today yes. we're continuing with the message series that we started like i said two weeks ago yes. don't mess with my covenant and one of the things that we learned the the what how God looks at a covenant, yes. and this was a, a definition that He gave to me, and and I want to also share it with the body of Christ on today. What God looks at a covenant 
to be is a promise made yeah. between at least two people. That's right. That is what? Applicable yeah. and appropriate yeah. principles yeah. that never changes and are binding until death. Yeah. And so, in other words, the way that God looks at his covenant that he yeah. has set yeah. is applicable That's right. and it's appropriate principles. That's right. So, therefore, if we as a people of God uh -huh. are in covenant relationship yes. with things that are not applicable yes. and appropriate principles right. to the word of God, God does not look at that as a covenant. That's right. Amen. Amen. The only way that we can say that we are honoring God in our covenant, whatever covenant that we are in agreement with, it has to be applicable That's right. and appropriate principles. Yes. And so therefore, we already know there are things that God forbids. Yes. Amen. And so we don't have no business right. coming into covenant with those things that God says he forbid. That's right. Amen. Right, Pastor David? That's right. Amen. Uh, do we know the meaning of the word applicable? Applicable? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Maybe somebody, that word done got too big for them. They don't know what that means. It means fitting. Fitting. That's Noteworthy. Right. That's right. That's fitting. Right. fitting. Noteworthy. Noteworthy. In other words, make note of this. In That's other words, right. to put it into place, Amen. to put it into practice, or to safeguard ourselves That's from right. being on the opposite side of applicable and That's appropriate. Right. That's right. And also, covenant is supposed to be between God yeah, first. and first, mm -hmm. right? And then two people yeah. honoring God's law. That's so true, Pastor. Not man's law. That's right. But don't get it twisted. That's don't it. get it messed up. Don't get it sidetracked. That's right. I know there are a lot of altering mm, is say that, doing Pastor. things in the earth and it's going to crept into the church mm. that man's law is trying to take precedent over God's law. Mm. And just because you go get a contract That's it. written up with your name on it in agreement to do something outside of the will of God, it does not apply to a covenant. That's right. It's just a contract. Good God. Uh, inappropriate my... contract. Inappropriate contract. Whenever you get in an in agreement and want to marry somebody of the same sex. Amen. Okay, it's it's not it's not a covenant. It's, it, exactly. it's not a covenant. Yeah. Anything so, that is not applicable and appropriate principles. That's right. That which means appropriate. Yeah. Applicable and appropriate principles, yes, which yes. are principles that are based, based on, on the, the word, word of God, God. is just a contract. That's right. That's okay, right. it's not a covenant. Yeah. It's just a contract. That's right. And, and see, a contract can be broken. Yeah. A covenant is never supposed to yes, be broken. Yes. Why? Because it was built That's right. on the principles of God. That's right. That's right. And God is the center of a con of a, a, a covenant that is applicable and appropriate principles yes. that are based on the word of God. That's right. And uh, there's no way on this platform we disagree we are disagreeing with your choice. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's your choice. God has given you the power. That's right. And if that's a choice you make, then you that's between you and God. Right. I'm I'm not disputing what you've done. Mm -hmm. I'm not disputing what you are uh, how you living, because it's between you and God. That's God so is true. the ultimate judge. Yes, He is. I am in no way in a position to dispute your decision. That's right. The only thing I can plead with you is make sure that God is in agreement with what your choices are. That's right. So, Amen. 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 So we understand, as long as we all understand what God view a covenant to be. Yes. Amen. And again, it's applicable and appropriate principles. Yes. Amen. That right. are never to be severed. That's right. That's never. Right. That's right. It, it, it's just like when, when God made us a promise, yes. when he destroyed the world by... Yes water yes. in Noah's days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he made a 
a covenant, covenant. with his people That's that right. I will not destroy the world That's again right. by water. And even though he spoke that so many years, thousands of years, years ago, it still is a covenant that he is honoring today. Amen. And that's how Amen. God looks at his covenant. Amen. And he reminds us of that covenant every time we see the rainbow. That's right. When we see a rainbow, mm -hmm. God is reminding mankind that I'm standing by my promise. That's it. And I am a keeper yeah. of my promise. That's right. And so I show the rainbow to show you mm. my witness that the rainbow is the symbol yeah. of keeping my covenant. That's it. Toward mankind. Amen. 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 And so what we also learned that God um, went, came into covenant with mankind yes. for two reasons. That's right. And that is because he loved us. Yes. And he wants to save us. Amen. He loves us and yes. he wants to save us as well as he said, I want to provide for you. Yes. I want to bless you. That's right. And that's why he came into covenant with us. Yeah. You know, because it was never his plan from the beginning to destroy us. Amen. That's but because right. of man's sin, yeah. that's when uh, destruction came into yes. place. And so God is like, okay, I have to redeem man mm -hmm. back to myself to reinstate my original plan from yes. the beginning. Amen. And so that's why, because he loves us and he wanted to save us. And because he wants to bless us Amen. is why he came into That's covenant right. with us. Right. And so God revealed to us that there are some covenants not to mess with. And right. some of the ones that we already covered, we covered that God said, do not mess with the covenant between God and man. That's right. So God is like, don't mess with that covenant. Yes. You know, all souls are mine. That's right. Everybody belongs to Amen. me. Amen. That's right. Because I gave them life. But again, like Pastor David said, it's a decision that we have to make to receive them. That's right. Amen. But everything that God did was for all mankind. So he's like, do not mess with the covenant between God and man. Another covenant we understand that God uh, shared with us that he don't want us to mess with is don't mess with the covenant between husband and wife. Amen. Amen. Don't do it. That's right. Leave the married people covenants alone. That's right. You're going to get yourself in trouble. And see, right. what we don't understand is what we as our individual selves do to mess with the covenant between a husband and a wife. Don't you know when you do that, you set your the rest of your generation teeth on edge? That's right. Because what we do, it, 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 it reflects the, the generations to come. Yeah. So God is saying, don't mess with that husband and wife covenant. That's right. And see, some of us right now, we got to repent. Amen. We never even repent for messing up that, that, that man and wife covenant. Yes. And that's why you see it in every generation. Yes. Because we never repented for it. So God is saying, don't mess with a covenant between a husband and a wife. Another covenant we understand that God said, don't mess with. He said, do not mess with the covenant believers relationship. Amen. That's so right. you're thinking like, oh, because it's not a husband and a wife or because it's not man. I can mess with this sister to sister relationship. No. God is like, uh-uh. Because see, anytime they come into a covenant relationship with me and I'm in the center of it. I'm still telling you, don't mess with that covenant believers relationship. That's right. Amen. Because we'll be in trouble with God. Yes. Saints of God. So he said, do not mess with covenant believers relationship. So whatever a covenant believer get into a, 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 a covenant relationship, God is like, don't mess with them. That's right. Let no man ascend them. That's right. That's don't right. mess with those covenant relationships. That's right. And, and the fourth one we learned that God said, don't mess with. He said, do not mess with covenant stewardship of wealth. That's right. Money. See, some of us have been touching and handling stuff that we don't have no business. That's right. That's right. And God has said, this is your opportunity to repent. Amen. And go and tell them people that you, you defrauded them. That's right. Because see, you thinking they don't know. They know. That's right. But they waiting on you to repent. 
And God is saying, do not mess with covenant stewardship of wealth. Amen. Because improper use and fraud is dealing with inheritance. Dealing with inheritance is punishable by God. That's right. And that's that's the key right there. Yeah. Charlene. Do not touch it because God has made a covenant with someone to have wealth transfer from one generation to another. That's right. He do that by a covenant in the heart of a good man. That's right. A good man will leave an inheritance for his children, children. That's right. That's Bible. That's God's instruction is saying, this is how I transfer wealth. That's so true. Where there is no covenant, the wealth cannot properly be transferred. That's so good, Pastor. Because he's not going to transfer it to a heathen. That's it. The wealth of the sinner is laid, is up. laid up in store for the righteous. Amen. And it's done through a righteous covenant yes. with God. You have to be in right relationship with God. And if you're in right relationship with God, then you have set yourself in a position to be trusted with wealth. That's so true. And wealth in the wrong hands is a dangerous tool. That's right. And that's why if you're not in covenant, don't touch the wealth. That's so true. Don't touch it because you are in a position to oversee it. If it don't belong to you, don't try to alter that covenant. That's right. To cause wealth to shift to you. That's right. Because you'll be shifting a curse That's on it. yourself That's it. and your generation present and to come. That's right. And, and thanks to God, we see we see that example in the prodigal son story. Yes. You know, the younger son, he wasn't ready for the wealth. No. Nope. The wealth was going to come to him. Yes. His father had it all set up and That's he was right. going to get his portion. That's right. But he wanted it pre prematurely before yes. his time. That's and right. what did he do? He went out there and he wasted it That's on right. riotous living. Yeah. And that's what some of you have done with the wealth that has been transferred. Amen. Because you wanted it prematurely. You yes. thought you can handle it. You thought you can uh, taste it and, and do whatever. But, you know, God is like, okay, okay. Yes. You know, I'll allow it. Yes. Just so you can see that you weren't ready for it. Amen. And so, saints of God, do not mess with covenant stewardship of wealth. You know, don't don't seek after something that you know within yourself that there are still some things in you that you need to work out. That's right. You know, the, the prayer that Pastor David and I pray every day is like, Lord, don't take us nowhere. That's right. Don't give us no platform. That's don't right. give us no stages That's right. where our character and our integrity can't keep us. That's right. Amen. Amen. And see, just because you think you're ready, mm -hmm. God knows that you're not. Yes. And so God is saying, do not mess with covenant stewardship of wealth That's right. and then the next one we learned that he don't want us to mess with another covenant he said not to mess with he said do not mess with covenant stewardship of property and land yes and see some of you out there you done stole some land some property that didn't even belong to you That's right my husband had that to happen to him Amen. with the inheritance changing generational generations name from the from the deeds and the yeah title putting their names on it. And that's 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 not what God has set wealth up for. That's right. If you're not in the covenant, that's that's what you call mailing and, and dealing and allen a covenant that you're not in. That's right. You know, if you hadn't made a declaration in your heart, in your life, to come in covenant with God. Yes. Then why are you meddling and touching? something that don't belong to you don't belong to you. yes you might be the daughter you might be the son of the uh, of the inheritor but you are not the the recipient of the next generation to receive that's right you see what gets me sometimes pastor charlene though those that grew up on the land those that were raised in the house those that uh, enjoyed the wealth while they were growing up that was your portion. That's right. Hello. That's right. That was your portion. Mm -hmm. Your mother and your father set that up for generational wealth 
to go grow and go forth in the generation to come. That's so and true. that's why the God, God word says that a good man in his heart will sit up the wealth to be transferred to, to his children's, children's children. That's right. Not, not you. That's right. No, it didn't stop there with you children. Mm -hmm. It says your children's His children. children. Mm -hmm. Good God Almighty. Amen. There's a lot of saints in the graveyard today going to have to face God at the day of judgment. That's right. Why did they do that? Amen. And now you set your you set your grandchildren into a position of poverty mm -hmm. because God. you took their wealth Jesus. that you enjoyed your entire life and then you took it. You took the very spoon out of your grandchildren's mouth mm -hmm. that would feed them and feed their children. Right. Grandchildren. That's right. And so God is not pleased. And he's saying, today, don't mess with the covenant of wealth, land, property, whatever is not yours. Don't touch it. That's right. And many of you, you are sick right now because you have repented. And you haven't reversed that thing that That's you have it. done. That's you it. haven't even went to your grandchildren and told them that your grandfather left you this. Your grandfather left that. You know why? Because you took it mm. and spent it and 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 and, and fronted and still flashing and mm. living on your children inheritance. Jesus. And it's the same way that this generation. That's before us now. I'm talking about people like me, you, that's in the age group of their 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. You have already messed up your children's name. Jesus. By putting credit cards and debts in their name. Ooh. And that's, that's a covenant that you have destroyed of your generation of your children generation mm. you got them in debt and they haven't even picked up a pen Good and God. signed for nothing that's right but God. you're yet living in law in royalty and enjoying your life and not ha having to help those kids erase that debt that you put in their name good god almighty and god is saying he's not pleased and that's why mm. he said don't mess with his covenant he have a covenant with each generation. That's right. That's why he said he would bless the seed. That's right. He will he will bless the seed around the table mm -hmm. like olive trees. Olive trees. Because God has a plan. Yes, he does. He has a plan. He made a covenant with yes. your seed. Yes. And you you're supposed to do what's right by that covenant. That's so God true. commanded you to point them as arrows in life. Glory to God. He didn't tell you to kill their future or steal uh, steal their future destroy their future mm -hmm. got your grandchildren struggling right now trying to make it Jesus. because you made their life miserable by signing their name to your debts jesus god is not pleased amen. Amen. amen 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 well all that had to be said somebody out there needed to hear that amen and so we're gonna go further on into this message today we want to pick it up with another covenant that god said not to mess with and he said do not mess with covenant leaders amen that's right see but some of us someone. some of us think like oh that's just so and so god like don't mess with my covenant amen. leaders because covenant leaders who exemplify humility they are not weak that's right Humility is a position of power one takes to accomplish a greater good. That's and see, right. though you think that, oh, we don't deserve it, or we're not educated enough, yeah. or we don't, God chose us. That's right. And God is saying, don't mess with my covenant leaders. That's right. Because he said, I'll give you what? Pastors That's after my very right. own heart. That's right. That's right. So don't mess with them. Say in the word, Pastor Darlene, he said, touch not. My anointing. My anointing do my prophets no harm. no harm. That's right. People that he has a covenant with, with to do certain things in the earth and to speak certain things. Don't put your mouth on them. Yeah. You might not, you might cannot to understand what they're saying or articulating at that moment, but it does not discredit. 
credit the anointing and the covenant God has with them. That's right. Amen. Amen. The scripture says in Hebrews 13 and 7, I want you to put your eyes on that yes. in the Amplified Bible. It says, remember your leaders. Yes. For it was they who brought you the word of God That's right. and consider the result of their conduct. Yes. In other words, he's like, watch how they live. That's right. Watch what they do. Amen. He says the outcome of their godly lives. He yes. wants you to watch it. That's right. He said, and imitate. Yes. Imitate what, Pastor Charlene? That's imitate right. their faith. That's right. Their conviction that God exists. And is the creator and ruler of all things. Yes. The provider of eternal salvation through Christ and imitate their reliance on God with absolute trust and confidence in his power, yes. wisdom, and goodness. And one scripture says to us in, the, in our Bible that we read, God's, uh, the, the, the preacher said, Mark the perfect man. Mark the perfect Mark man. Mark the perfect man. And what they were saying is how they conduct and live yeah. before God and how they fear God and how they worship and how they walk with God. And, and mark that person that stand in, in the in the faith and 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 govern and reverence their covenant with God. Mm -hmm. God is saying, mark that person. Yeah. Because that's a person that you can you can look at and be and they will be an example to you to keep your covenant reverent you know yeah and keep you in the fear of god right you understand what i'm saying yeah Amen. and so that's why pastor david and I always and i always say you know follow us as we follow christ that's right you know in other words you can mark our lives yes. watch us yes you know and he said imitate imitate yes, yes. You know, yes. our faith and our trust yes. and obedience to God. You can imitate that. Amen. But, you know, those leaders that are not exemplifying that covenant with yes. God, yes. you know, they're outside of, the, uh, uh, of their own marital yes. covenant. Yes. Yes. And, you know, they're doing things to Amen. steal from people, yes. to take advantage of people, to be an opportunist on yes. people. Yes. No, no, no. That's not the person that God wants us to mark. Yes. Amen. But no, he said, mark the perfect man. That's First right. Timothy 5 and 17, uh -huh. in the Amplified as well, it says the elders. Yes. What elders? Uh -huh. The leaders. The leaders. The leaders. Those who uh, uh, are seasoned. Uh, seasoned and leading you Amen. in the things of God. He said, uh, the elders who perform their leadership duties well are to be considered what? Worthy yes. of double honor, That's right. financial support, especially those who work hard at preaching and teaching the word of God concerning eternal salvation through Christ. Amen. Amen. So if you want to sow a financial seed, don't be sowing it into people that you know that's going to live a righteous life with that. That's right. No, God is saying, you know, uh, a double honor is to be given to those who what? Who are worthy. Those who are, 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 are working hard at preaching yes. and teaching the word of God. And this scripture breaks it down so, so understanding that how can you get it twisted with because I, I, I don't think they need it. Right. Uh, I don't feel they need it. They, they look like they got everything going on. Looks can, can be deceiving. That's right. And sure you can. can't base everything on a physical look. That's you know right. What I'm saying because there are a lot of hurting people, but if you look at them, they 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 the most happiest happiest people, people you ever laid your mm -hmm. eyes on. And so we can't get into this judgmental uh, and pre preconceived pre conceived that you got it going on because the way I dress, the way I look, you know. It's not based on a look. Yeah. You know what, Pastor David? Yeah. Some people like us, yeah. we can manage our pain well. That's right. That's right. And so you will probably never know. That's right. That we're going through. That's right. <laughs> God told us not to pronounce it. That's not, right. Not to go out there and show it. It's just like fasting and praying. praying. That's right. You don't have to look like you look like you fasting and praying. Right. The Bible says get up, wash your face, brush your teeth. Right. And go about your day and look vibrant, you know, mm -hmm. and look happy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a sad conscience. That's con right. Continent. 
You don't have to look like you you fasting. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because one thing we learned through you, Pastor David, yeah. that you taught us is that, you know, greatness is not predicated on yeah. how smart you That's are, right. who you know, what That's side right. of the track you That's were right. born on. But greatness is predicated on how well you manage your pain. That's right. And so when we manage our pain well. That's right. You know, that is also being in covenant with God. That's right. Because he, you know, guess what? Because we saw the example of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus wasn't out, he wasn't like, oh, you know, even though he asked God to take yeah. this stuff, he said, if it be that way. That's right. That's right. But see, Jesus managed his pain well, and he said, what? Nevertheless. Yes. And thy will. Yes. Be done. Yes. And so that's what God is asking us to do as well. Yes. It, I didn't mean, cut you off, but they were one time, you know, it's about exchanging and giving, mm -hmm. you know, and, and supporting those that, that you know, that, that serve God and serve you mm -hmm. and preach the word to you and encourage you. I saw a demonstration many years ago, not many years ago, but some years back when Tyler Perry uh, came to his uh, fortune and began to produce movies mm -hmm. and do all this. And he, he came from a place of low, 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 low beginnings, low, yeah. uh, uh, humble, humble, begin beginnings, humble yeah. beginnings. And he began to appreciate where he was. Mm -hmm. And and he was on Oprah and Oprah was interviewing him because you know he became a, a big it. Mm -hmm. He was everywhere and doing everything and giving and one thing he desired in his heart to purchase Oprah uh, an automobile yeah and he it was in his heart to do that now Oprah is already an icon that's right already, already labored in four uh, 500 richest people on the face of the earth she was in there as the first mm -hmm. African-American female. Mm -hmm. But what what I saw was that she didn't need anything. She could have went and bought a car for herself. Mm -hmm. But she broke down in tears mm -hmm. on live TV. That's right. Around the world and all her followers saw her broke break down because this humble man that came from a humble beginning mm -hmm. put in his heart to saw fit to give her this gift of an automobile and she can buy a hundreds a thousand of them mm -hmm. herself right but she humbled herself to receive that and i'm saying she could have looked at him i don't need that he could have said you don't need it i know you don't need it right but it's is is the intent of the heart of the heart and who they, how they respect. And, 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 and to go even deeper than that, yeah. saints of God, what that exemplified was that he sold into where he wanted to be. That's See, right. a lot of times we right. think thinking like, oh, you know, well, they got it. That's they don't right. need it. That's and right. so you're like, oh, right. why am I going to give it to them? Yeah. No, no, no. You, you sold to where you want to be. That's right. That's right. And, and see, you, you, if you sold into poverty, and, right. and, and God said the poor you're going to have with you always. Right. And yes, we're supposed to give to the that's poor. Right, that's right. When we lend to the poor, God said we lend to him. That's right. But the, the, the blessing comes when we sow to where we want to go. That's right. So in other words, you're saying, I'm submitting myself, yes. even though I can see that they yes. don't need it. Yes. yes. And even yes. though I can see that they have it. Yes. But this is where I see myself. So I'm going to sow into that. That's right. And what, what he was empowering himself yeah. with that gift to her yeah. was that I'm sowing because I I'm want, gonna get what, there. I want what's yeah. on you. To get on me. To get on me. That's right. And that's what, that's what sowing and reaping is all about. And today we can see that in operation in that's his life right. today. That's right. Amen. Yeah, that's you know, right. he's on the same page with that's Oprah. Right. That's right. <laughs> and many, many, many was out there doing what he was doing, mm -hmm. but not at that that rate. Yeah, that amen. Rate. amen. Amen. We're going to go on because we want to finish this message today. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go to First Peter 5, 1 through 4 in the Amplified 
Bible. I want you to yeah. listen and, and 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 or put your eyes on it as yeah. well. It says, therefore, uh -huh. I strongly urge the elders, the, yes, leaders, the leaders among you, yes. pastors, yes. spiritual leaders of the church, as a fellow elder and as an eyewitness mm -hmm. called to testify yes. of the sufferings of Christ. And that's what Pastor David and I are doing today right. in this message, that's telling right. you Resurrect not to mess with God's covenant. He said, as well as one who shares in the glory that is to be revealed, yes. shepherd and guide yes. and protect the flock of God among you. Amen. Exercising oversight. Yes. Not under compulsion. And not, in other words, not being forced to do it. That's right. No, 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 no. But we're just surrendering to it. Yes. But voluntarily. Yes. According to the will of God and not motivated for shameful gain. Uh -huh. Don't steal from God's That's people. Right. That's right. Don't take from them. That's right. Don't try to, uh, 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 what you, what you do? Control them. That's right. But he said, manip yes. And manipulate and said, but with wholehearted enthusiasm, yes. not lording it over those assigned to your care. Mm -hmm. Do not be arrogant or overbearing, but be examples of Christian living to the flock. Yes. Set a pattern of integrity there you go. for your congregation. That's right. And when the chief shepherd, uh -huh. Christ, yes. appears, uh -huh. you will receive the conqueror's unfading crown of glory. Yes. So what God is exemplifying to us with this covenant, yes. don't mess with my covenant leaders. Yes. He's saying that as the people that are sitting in the pews, yes. you have an obligation That's as right. well as the That's leaders. Right. That's we right. have an obligation right. not to mess with God's covenant. That's right. That's right. And that's the charge to us. That's right. As a leader. That's so true. We are not to use the pulpit as a bully. That's so pit. true. We are not to bully. That's We're it. not to disgrace. We're not to bring shame. Mm -hmm. We're not to bring guilt on people to give. Yeah. We're not supposed to Say sit that, up Pastor. there and molest them about giving. Good God Almighty. And rape their wallets. Cheap. And take Ooh, their advantage word. of their emotional mm. because there is a mo emotion that attached to giving. Mm -hmm. And that's what brings the sentiment of their heart to a place where they can reverence God yes. in giving because it's all about the. Uh, honoring the command that God has given us in Luke 6 and 38. Mm -hmm. He said, give. That's it. And he did, and then in Corinthians, Paul said, give and don't give grudgingly. That's right? It. That's right. right. He, we supposed to give cheerfully. Cheerfully. And so the command to us as leaders, we cannot alter the covenant between the parishioners and the people that fill in the pews, we cannot use that pulpit, that sacred desk, that sacred office, that sacred assignment that he has placed on you as a leader to come before the children and the people of God and burden them and get on them and blast them out mm -hmm. and embarrass them because they are not doing something that you are commanding or you asking for. That's right. Amen. Amen. And so God is saying, you know, don't don't mess with my covenant leaders. Yeah. And so again, we all have we all are bound to yes. you know to the covenant that God has established between yes. leaders and their partners. Yes. Amen. And so we all have an assignment to you know make sure that we're not messing with the covenant that God put in place yes. for us to be as leaders That's as right. well as followers. That's right. Amen. Last but not least, the last one, it, it, it is just fitting, you know, this That's is right. what God has given us. That's right. And he, and he said, do not mess with the covenant of tithing. That's right. Amen. Amen. See, y'all said, oh, that, that was in the Old Testament. Yeah. That was, that was in the this and that yeah. was in the, no, no, no. God said, I brought that on the way up. Amen. Because I gave you something. Yes. And I gave you something that was more precious than yes, anything. That's right. And I gave you my son. That's correct. And he was my only begotten that's son. Right. And so I'm telling you, do not mess with the covenant of tithing. That's right. Amen. Tithing is not considered a gift to the Lord. 
but an act of returning to him what is rightfully his. That's right. You see that? Don't belong God to God is it. saying, that belong to me. Don't belong to I it. told you, the tithe, the tenth, that's yes. holy unto me. Yes. And so when you mess with that, then you're messing with my covenant. That's right. Amen. Amen. So the tithing does not belong to the preacher. No. It don't belong to the people in the pews. Amen. It belongs to the house of God. That's right. And it's supposed to keep things there so you as a leader mm -hmm. will have a place to be sustained. Sustained. Mm -hmm. And to have a platform to preach and teach to the, the congregation, congregation, the house of God is where you come mm -hmm. and lay your burdens on the altar. That's right. And those that are serving the altar, they shall be sustained by, by the, the altar. altar. And so the people of God is to reverence yeah. the altar of God in the house of God. And that's why we are preaching and teaching this covenant of tithing. of tithing and the covenant of God with man in the earth. We all have to be faithful and do our parts in all seven of these that we have given to you and presented to you that you must keep yourself in the right covenant of God because Money is a relationship. Yes, it is. Tithing is a relationship. That's it. You just can't do it because uh, you see everybody else doing it. You got to come in agreement. That's so true. And submit and obey. That's right. Because if you don't obey, guess what? You will not be able to participate in God's ordinance that he has, has commanded that what will come over you, what will uh, run you down. What will flood you? The gates of uh, won't open. The windows won't open. That's right. The doors won't open. Mm -hmm. The favor won't come. Yeah. Because you are not in the right relationship of the covenant of God. That's Adam. right. And when we honor God first, thanks to God, don't you know that God honors us? Yes, that's right. You know, you we can't beat God given. No, no way. So, you know, when we honor God in our tithing, yes. it's like he's saying to us, I see your heart, yeah. you know, and you're concerned of the things that are at the altar, yeah. like Pastor David Amen. said. And because you are concerned with what is sustained at the yeah. altar, I've got to take care of your house. That's right. Because you're bringing it to my house yes, and you're sustaining my house. Yes. I don't have no other choice yes. but Amen. to sustain your house. Amen. And so let's look at the scripture, Malachi 3 and 10. Okay. It says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. Who house? In God's house. Who house? In God's house. Who and then he says, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. if I will not yes. open you the windows of heaven uh -huh. and pour you out a blessing that there should not be room enough to receive. And Luke 6 and 38, it says, give. Yes. Yeah. And it shall be given unto you. Yes. Good measure. Yes. Press down and shake it together and run it over shall men give into your bosom. Amen. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. And again, why, 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 why is God saying we got to bring the tithe? Why is he saying give? Okay. I'm glad you asked. And we're going to answer. Turn your Bibles to Proverbs 3, 9 through 10. In the new living, it says, honor the Lord. Honor the Lord. With your wealth. Yes. And with the what? The best part. Yes. Of everything you produce. Uh-huh. Then he will fill your barns with yes. grain. Yes. And your vats will overflow with good wine. And see, if we want God to fill our barns with grain yes. and our vats with overflow with good wine, we got to do what? We got to give. That's right. That's right. We got to bring the tithe. That's right. The tenth. That's right. That's the only way he multiplied what we have. That's right. That's right. And and I'm hearing some somebody saying, yeah, I heard about this tithing thing and, and giving all this all my life and all this. 
but I want you to know that none of this is given to a man. Mm. None of these principles that you're hearing in the Word of God, in the Word of God, it didn't say bring it to a man. It didn't say bring it to, to your house. It's saying bring it to his house, the mm. Lord's house, where the, the Word is being preached and teach for the, for the nourishment of you to, to grow and to hear and to know God and know his instruction and walk worthy in the fear of God so you can receive from him. And so I know some of you saying, well, I can't afford it. Inflation and, and the, the things I have to do, I got to pay my bills and all this. It's not a bill. It's not a bill. It's, yes. holy. It, it's not a bill given to God. Mm. It's not a bill. Mm. The tip. The tenth is not a bill. It, it is a covenant. That's it. It is the first covenant with your wealth, your the what God has given you. That's right. You owe him a tenth of your time. That's it. Every hour, ten minutes belong to God out of that. Amen. It belongs to God. Amen. And so they 24 hours in a day, right? Right. And so 10 out of each 24 hours, 20, mm -hmm. 10 times 24. Look how, look how much time you owe him. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's about two hours and 40 minutes, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going off the top of my head. But you do the calculation. That's how much time in your day you owe to the Lord. And so get the principles right, and you will begin to see the the fluctuation in in your life and the things that God has That's promised right. that he would do when you obey. That's right. Amen. That's right. And so in our closing, if you don't get anything else out of this message, understand this, that yeah. though society rejects the sanctity of That's a covenant, right. oh, yeah. God considers a covenant to be binding throughout eternity. Yes. It never it, it, it never dies. It's never it broken. It never expires. That's right. So I don't care. It could be 2053. Uh, yeah, that covenant say. still supposed to be and binding la, 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 yes. and in operation. Amen. Amen. And so Psalms 89 and 34 in the, in the New Living Translation, yes. the God made us a promise. He said, no, I will not break my covenant. Mm -hmm. I will not take back a single word I said. You hear that, saints of God? That's right. He said, I will not break my covenant. That's right. I will not take back a single word I said. That's right. So here's here's what we must understand. Whatever we sow our members to, yes. whether it's to the flesh, uh -huh. we're going to reap it. Yes. Or if it's to the spirit, uh -huh. we will reap. That's right. Why? Because we're in a covenant relationship with God. That's right. Whether we accept it or not. Amen. We learned that earlier on. Amen. Whether we accept it or not. Whether yes. you accept Jesus or not. Guess what? You're in that covenant relationship. And when Jesus come back. When God come back for us. And we're not on the. We haven't received them to our heart. Because he already made that covenant yes. with us. Yes. The law of reciprocity is already in effect. Yes. Amen. Amen. So to receive Jesus. Is gain. Amen. But to die outside of him yes. is a loss to us. Yes. Amen. So God is saying to us this morning, don't mess with my covenant. Amen. However, if we break covenant with him, he will personally deal with all covenant breakers. That's right. We pray that you've gotten Amen. something out of the word on today. Yes. Again, share this message with your family and friends and let them know that God has given us seven covenants yes. that he does not want us to mess with That's right. because he doesn't look at it lightly. And, you know, we've seen in a whole all through the Bible where people have broken the covenant of God, Amen. where destruction came on them. Yes. The Bible says destruction Amen. comes on the children of disobedience. That's right. And so. That's why we're saying, don't break covenant with God. Amen. He said in this word, it's better not to make a vow than to make it and break it. That's right. So stay true to the covenant that you have.
have made with God, just as well as Pastor David and I Amen. will stay true to the covenant that we made with God. Amen. At this time, if you're hearing this word and yes. you know that you are not in right standing with God, yes. how do you know that? Because you know you haven't even accepted him into your life. Amen. This is your opportunity to receive yes. Jesus. It's just as simple as this, yes. is to make a decision that I'm going to put off the old and put on the new. Amen. How do I do that? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. All you have to do, as the Bible says in Romans 10 and 9, yes. that you must repent first. That's right. Amen. He said to confess. Yes. You know, confess. In other words, confess your faults. Confess that you are a sinner. Yes. And so as you confess, that you believe that Jesus mm -hmm. has been raised from the dead Amen. and that he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. Yes. You know, he said that you'll be saved. And so you all you have to do is confess it with your mouth. So just repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe. I believe. That you are the Son of God. That you are the Son of God. I believe. I believe. That you gave your life. That you gave your life. As ransom for me. As a ransom for me. I believe, I believe that you now that you are now sitting at the right hand of the Father. Sitting at the right hand of the Father. Rooting on. Rooting on. Rooting me on. Rooting me on. To have a relationship with have you. A relationship with you. Father. Father. I receive Jesus. I receive Jesus. Into my heart. Into my heart. I make him my Lord and I Savior. I make him my Lord and my Creator. Created me. Created me. A clean heart. A clean heart. And renew your right and spirit in me. Your right spirit within me. I receive you now. I receive you now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are a born again yes, believer. Yes. Welcome to the body of Christ. The information is right there on your Amen. screen as to how you can let us know yes. that you receive Jesus into your heart today. Yes. We would love to be your accountability partners. What I mean by accountability partners Amen. is that we want to check up on you. We yes. want to feed you the word of God Amen. to make sure that you're able to grow. Because just like a plant grow, what does it take? Amen. Seed. That's and right. the word of God is seed. And as you connect with us and we teach you the word of God, you'll begin to be planted. Yes. You know, it's just like that root go into the ground. That's how you go into the ground Amen. out here in this world. You'll be, your feet will be planted Amen. on a solid foundation that even though the wind blows, the sea might be yes. tossed and fro, but guess what? You're going to stand rooted and grounded. Why? Amen. Because you're going to apply the word of God to your everyday life. And that's what we want to be to you, your accountability partners, to preach and teach the word of God, to show you and to also demonstrate yes. what the word looks like. Amen. That you'll be able to follow our example. Amen. So again, reach out to us and let us know so that we can celebrate with you. We appreciate you uh, receiving this invitation that we've extended to you this yes. morning. What a day to receive Amen. Jesus into your heart. On Resurrection, Resurrection Day. Day. Oh my God, this is Amen. so awesome. I'm telling you, the angels are in heaven rejoicing because you made a decision to receive Jesus into your heart. Amen. Amen. Also, we just gave you the scriptures. We just showed you where yes. that the tithe, tithing yes. is a covenant yes. that God made with us. That's right. And he expected us to hold fast to it. Amen. And so God is saying, what are you waiting on? He like, pay me my tithe. That's right. He said, it belonged to me. It's rightfully mine. That's right. You're not supposed to touch it. We're not supposed to touch it. And I can assure you, we ain't touching it. Amen. We give it to God. That's right. And so follow our example. Give that tithe today. If this is your first time doing it, I'm telling you, all you got to do is prove God. I'm Please, God. That's what you do. Right. Say, you know, say, okay, God, I'm going to give you this tithe for the, fir for the first day. I'm paying my tithes today. That's right. That's right. And say, by Wednesday, I'm expecting this to happen. You know, and I'm telling you, watch God do it. Watch God do it because he's like, I just want to prove to you That's right. that I'm God. That's right. And so I'm not saying that every time like God is going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah. No, as we grow and mature in the things of God, you, we don't have to be fleecing God. Right. All we all we do is just, just obey, right, Pastor That's David? Right. Why? Because we're mature. Amen. 
And so after you get mature in God, then, you know, you don't have to be like, show me what you can do. Show me what you can do. No, no, no. You don't have to do that because you already know he going to do it anyway. That's so right. you don't even have to ask. That's right. You know, we just continue to be obedient to God right. and he blows our mind from what he does Amen. with his provision, yeah. with his love, with his uh, uh also with his favor. Amen. You know, sometimes we're always looking for money, 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 money. Don't Amen. you know favor is, something, is better than money? Amen. Because money can run out. But the favor of God, when the favor of God is extended toward you, yes. that's perpetual. Amen. That thing just keep going, keep going. Yes. Keep, everywhere I turn around, that song say, yes. blessings on blessings. Yes. Thank you, Anthony Brown, for writing that, that word. Yeah, every time I turn around, blessings on blessing. Yes. And that's what happens when we be obedient that's to right. God, to bring him the tithe that's correct. and to give an offering. Amen. Remember, we bring tithes mm -hmm. and we give an offering. That's right. And so whatever God lays on your heart today, do it today that's right. and watch God honor what he says that he would do. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and make our offering declarations. I know you're ready to to say them as we are always ready yes. because we believe the word of God yes. and that's why we speak the word of God because we believe it Amen. so let's go ahead and hold our offerings up yes. and say because I am a tither and a giver right. the windows of heaven are open to me yes. God rebukes the devourer for my sake mm -hmm. I am blessed financially yes. and receive a blessing that I cannot contain yes. I do not worry about lack knowing God supplies all my needs yeah. richly and abundantly. Therefore, I am able to sow freely yes. and liberally. I choose to sow cheerfully, generously, yes. and bountifully, yes. knowing I will reap bountifully. Yes. I have in abundance every favor and earthly blessing. Yes. All my needs are met, yes. and I abound in every good work. The Lord blesses everything I put my hand to, and he grants me abundant prosperity. He makes me the head and not the tail, yes. above and not beneath, the lender and not the borrower. The blessings of God are chasing me and overtaking me. Yes. God loves to see me prosper. I am believing him for jobs and better jobs, advancements, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, God ideas and strategies, yes. debt paid off, expenses decreased, blessings and increases, mm -hmm. financial freedom and breakthroughs. Thank you, Lord, for giving me seeds that serve as a gateway to my financial freedom yes. and to receive my blessings and great returns. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Pastor David is going to pray a prayer amen. over us, over our offerings that God will grant back to us some amen. 30, 60, and a thousand fold harvest in amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your people, Lord, those that heard your word, Father, and your cry to stay in covenant with their giving you, and Jesus. their obedience to the tithe and the offering. We thank you for their obedience today, Lord. Thank you, and Lord. we receive their gift and we offer it unto you, Father. And as Pastor Charlene has declared, that you will return 30, 60, 100, and even 1,000 fold to those that are walking and receiving in agreement in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Again, we want to thank you all so very much for joining us amen. this Sunday morning for our Resurrection Sunday morning worship. We appreciate it. Continue to share this message with your family and friends. Somebody need to know yes. that God is commanding us not to mess with this covenant. And they need to know that he has seven specific covenants that he brought to our attention yes. in this series that Amen. he don't want us to mess with. And he doesn't look at it lightly when we mess with it. And so if you don't want your family and friends to be punished, again, like we said, That's all right. covenant breakers, God is like, it's Amen. punishable by me. Amen. Not by Pastor David. That's and I, right. No, 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 no. It's punishable by God. That's right. And so you don't want them to be punished by God for breaking his covenant. Amen. So please make sure that they are aware that God is speaking to us in this series. Yes. Don't mess with my covenant. Yes. Again, we thank you. Amen. We love you. God bless you. We're going to say bye for now. Amen. Bye-bye.
we cry out, Jesus. In our desperation, in our longing, we lift our eyes to the heavens. The Savior that was promised reached down to us, becoming flesh. At his entrance, they laid palms at his feet, as today, in his presence, we fall to our knees. We cry out to him, hanging on the cross, the righteous one whose blood broke the curse. With an act of love that saved our souls, overflowing redemption making us whole. No nail to the bones could hold him. No crown of thorns could shame him, because he is the one. No tomb could contain him. Death could not stop him. He conquered the grave and rose from death victorious. We cry out, Jesus, 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 you are the resurrection and the life. In you, all things come alive. We will forever declare the mighty power of your name. We cry out with everything we have. We need you, Savior, and nothing else, because in you we are saved by grace. Your glory will shine upon the world, and every tongue will cry out, Jesus is the Lord. Throughout the week, don't forget to stay connected with us across our social media platforms and visit us at clgimg.org. Until next time, God bless you. Hello, Frederick County and surrounding areas. The Church of God Intermen Gospel Incorporated is excited to announce we have found our new location. Partners, friends, and family, with your help and service, we can make this vision a reality. Your time, energy, money, gifts, or talents are greatly welcomed and appreciated. Please consider helping us reaching our goal of $100,000 to begin the maintenance project. If you would like to give or sow a financial seed toward this endeavor, please visit our website at coging dot org forward slash give if you're interested in learning more about how you can best serve us with maintenance of the building please email us at cogimg inc at gmail.com thank you in advance for making our vision a reality <laughs>